Okay. I am going to be doing a killer leather face, well, a basic leather face and killer leather face breakdown. Uh, it's going to be centred centered around killer, but in the future I'll do the um, other two variations. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's uh, start off with variationless leather face. Jason Voorhees. Okay, let's start off by talking about Leatherface as visually as a character, the way he moves about, and we'll move on to his uh, single hitting normal moves. Let's start off with his walk back speed. And let me just uh, go back to Jason. His walk back speed is slow ish. Um, it's not the best in the game, and his walk forward speed is slow as well. Right. His back dash is decent, but it's n nothing to write home about, and his forward dash is decent as well. Nothing special there at all. Now his run, very very fast, just like in the movies. Uh, he's a very fast runner. Uh, you can literally cross one side of the screen to the other extremely quickly. Um, yeah, his jump is a bit floaty. So you can be an anti ed pretty well. Uh, and if you look at Leatherface as a kid, he's very tall. Uh, so he's got a bigger hitbox than, say, uh, Jackie Briggs or Melina. Okay. Let's have a look at his notable normal attacks. Starting off the ones. Standing one is an eight frame jab with a high. So if you don't know what a high move is, is when the opponent is ducking and I press, oops, I should have turned block off. Ducking, the move will just go over their head and it won't do anything, obviously. Standing one is an eight frame jab, uh, plus two on block. So if I get Jason to jump, block mode always. If you can tell, I can jump a bit before he can. We, it's probably hard to see, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So, standing one, eight frame, very fast. Uh, plus two on block, so you can stagger it. Um, but be warned, it is a high attack, so you can be poked out of it. Let's go with back one. High chains, a 27 frame, which is extremely slow. Overhead chainsaw attack. It's minus 10 on block, so it's very unsafe. You can be punished, but from the right distance, you may or may not be safe. It's hard to judge. Uh, let's just show you how much of a range this move has. Look at that. Huge range. So it sort of balances out, balances out the fact that it's slow. And you can combo into it. Yep. So that's pretty much back one. It also is an overhead, so if I get Jason to uh, block always and duck... Oops, sorry. Block stance. It'll hit him no matter what. So yeah, keep that in mind. Keep keep in mind the range of that that normal. Forward one. Now this move is probably my favourite normal of lever faces. As you can see, seven start up frames. Minus two on block, so you can sort of stagger it. And it has quite a good hit advantage. It is incredibly fast. And it's forward advancing. It's not as 
obviously it doesn't have as much range as back on the chainsaw mode but it is very good at punishing things and of course it is a high as you can see so keep that in mind this and forward one two are the go-to punishes for level face it can punish pretty much anything that's minus eight or above uh, or I should say below anyway moving on down one uh, seven frame poke doesn't have the best hit advantage and it's safe on block uh, pretty much pretty it's not it's nothing kotal like but it's it's it can get you out of situations where characters such as tremor cannot get out of uh, that pretty much covers all of the standing like one family of moves let's go with the standing oops sorry standing two moves now standing two is pretty much exactly the same as standing one eight frame start up plus two on block pretty much exactly the same not really much to tell you there now back to is a very interesting move you can see the range Oops. huge range it's also very good for uh, people trying to jump towards you like that it knocks them out of the air obviously It's unsafe on block, so it can be punished if you do it, like, this distance, and they block it. Uh, for example, I'll show you. Let's go block made always, movement mode, jump. Do it. He can jump much before I can, so that's his window of opportunity to punish. Uh, doing that move against characters like uh, Sub-Zero, um, Reptile, uh, any any character with a fast advancing reversal can punish uh, Melina, uh, punish that move uh, quite uh, regularly. Now forward two is pretty much like back one. It's a very slow overhead move. On by itself, it's very unsafe and blocked, but the range, obviously very long range um, I wouldn't recommend using it in the neutral but sometimes it does catch people off guard uh, his down two fast very fast very good anti-air I'll show you let's get uh, Jason to jump forward very good anti-air oops Mr. Yeah, it, it really catches every uh, all nearly all jumps apart from some jumping punches like Kodal Khan uh, Leverface doesn't have many uh, kick sort of moves but I will show them all hinge kick it's a mid so if Jason is just crouching you will get hit by it it's 12 frames and minus 2 on block so you can sort of stagger it so if you do down 3 into or sort of they wouldn't say it's guaranteed but it's it's good for you, you won't get punished or anything like that it does have a few hurt box issues so if I do interchange parts it doesn't connect into a 2 hit combo Forward 3, or forward X, or forward A, whatever, is Leverface's low starter. It doesn't have the best range, but at least he has a low starter. It is minus 9 on block, so cancelling into something safe, depending on what variation, uh, definitely is worth uh, keeping in mind. And it's down three. Probably his best poke by far. It is a six frame six frame uh, poke minus an eight and box block, so you can be punished by 
like Re Reptiles EX Lite, but uh, even then it's a uh, pretty much frame type punish. Probably his best poke. Uh, this move is more important, most important in killer in my opinion, so keep that in mind. Uh, standing four, just like pretty much a lot of other characters standing fours. It's pretty average. Nothing special. Nothing bad. I think it's plus one on block. No zero on block. Sorry. So, but it is a high. So keep that in mind. Now, lever faces sweep. Look at that. The range. It's minus six, uh, six on block. And the hit advantage minus is twenty four. So he can he can sweep someone and jump over them, pretty much. Just be careful, like Kung Lao, he can spin them. It's also good to use against Grandmaster Sub Zero when he's hiding behind the clone. You can sweep, and you can't get punished if uh, uh, he blocks it and pun tries to punch a slide. Now forward four is a funny move. Uh, I'll show you why. Let's get Jason to jump just on the spot. And if I do forward four, watch what happens. It restands. I'll put. Uh, I'll just uh, do a better example. I'll just do a basic combo. Whoops. There you go. It restands him. Uh, it is a plus five on hit, so you you're not really guaranteed anything. You could you can try doing a. Uh, down free afterwards but it's not it's not guaranteed now lever faces down four is 17 frames for oh sorry not 17 16 my bad 16 frames start up 16 block advantage so minus 16 sorry very unsafe and it only has six hit advantage um i don't know what to think about this uh this uh, poke um I don't think it's really good to be honest. It can, it it's useful against Grandmaster uh, because it has no hurt box. But let's get Jason to jump. It does have a funny hip hurt box. See? Uh, sorry. Let's get. It'll hit him at the air if you do it, but I wouldn't recommend using it. And that pretty much covers his uh, basic attacks. He's got an average jump in one. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And his jumping too should be used when jumping over your opponent, like trying to get out of the corner or something. But his jump two is a bit wonky, so keep that in mind. Okay, that's pretty much base, basic clever face. Uh, um, let's go through a bit of his strings. Actually, let's switch to killer. And that's what we're actually going to cover today anyway, so might make sense to um, go into this variation. Alright, let's go through the normals that you would use on block first. Uh, actually, let's just go through the uh, the strings. Insane Killer, 1-2, high overhead. The overhead sometimes catches people out, but definitely not uh, often. Uh, only usually against people who don't know the matchup well. And one two two, Sora's family, is the uh, the full uh, string. It's a launcher, so you can continue combo after that. That's uh, the one two family of strings. Let's go forward one and forward one two back two. Forward one two. Your best punishing string, no matter what variation of lever faces you use. If you know a move is unsafe, use this. It does have a funny uh, hurt box against some certain punches like Kano Ball. Kano's uh, back forward three from the Kano Ball. But generally, it will uh, punish anything minus seven. So if I get the AI to do an unsafe string, for example. Oops. Sorry, I fucked up the recording. Okay. So yeah, you can punish a lot of things with Ford 1. Anyway, let's get him to stop doing that. 
So that's forward one two, best punishing string. Make them stop. Uh, I don't really see any use for this string. Forward one two back two. Basically launches in full screen. I don't see any use for it at all. Maybe in Pretty Lady when you want to create the distance so you can start your zoning. But to be honest, um, I don't see a point in this move. All right, back one two. This move is obviously like the I showed you to when I uh, started this guide. Uh, back one, the huge range normal. Back one two, overhead low. Very, it's, it's completely safe on block, and there's really no problem with throwing this move out. But of course, it's extremely slow, so you're not really gonna hit many people with it in the neutral. Now the standing two family of uh, strains, you've got manslaughter, high mid, hooking and crooken, <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna stop saying the names of the uh, strains. So you've got two two up two which is high mid overhead and two two down, uh, down two is high mid low. So you can confuse people and to be honest in a real match people are not going to block, they just have to guess. They look exactly the same pretty much. So, And they are both hard knockdowns. That's pretty much the standing 2-2. Two. Standing 2-2, two, two, I forgot to admit, uh, say is plus 2 on block as well. So Leverface has quite a few plus 2 on block strings. I also forgot to mention that if you look at the block advantage, m nearly all of his strings are unsafe, apart from 2-2 two, two and 2-2 two, two, up 2 and back 1-2. All those strings are safe. But everything else you need to cancel it into a special move, which we will get into soon. Anyway, forward 2-1, very long range. Oops. You will generally not catch people off with this move, but occasionally you might. And two, four, two, one, down two, which is the launcher. Just like one, two, two. Now the funny thing is, uh, the com if you miss the second hit of the uh, four, hang on. Whoops. Wow. Sorry. Alright. Wow, I'm misjudging that. There we go. See, it's still combo. Even if you miss the second hit, so keep that in mind. Alright, special moves. Now, these are important. It, most of these are variation specific. Uh, what you can cancel into to make it a like a string safe which I'll get into very soon as well so let's go over down back one psycho cutter it's just a ender for like a combo it's uh, for example if I do just a simple combo it's just an ender in, into a hard knockdown it is uh, plus 25 on the hit that is extremely good but on the left it's minus 24 on block so you've got to be careful with uh, using it in the neutral and as a wake up. The EX version oops, sorry. The EX version just has a little bit of extra damage and still has similar um, hit advantage and if you look at the range oops, sorry, it's got quite a bit of range as well and it's also good for uh, an anti-air for example, get Jason to jump. Oops. There we go. And let's let's get him away first. There we go. So yeah, it's a pretty good end here. All right, spinning sword down forward four. Oops. Just another ender. Uh, there's no reason to use this ender uh, at all, but. It does create a little bit of distance. Um, you can sort of set up the long range moves. For example, end there. Oh, oh my god, what am I doing? 
Wow. Sorry. But you got to be careful. Wake up. Uh, the EX version is a launcher, which you can continue combos. Uh, that's pretty much it. And it also has armor. Same with this. That has armor as well. So those two moves have armor. The, those two are the primary wake up attacks that you would use if you want high damage. Uh, let's go with high saw. Now this is an anti air move. So if I get uh, Jason to jump forward, there we go. He'll get hit out of the air. Now the EX version, very fast, and you can continue. Oops. No, I'm s sorry. So basically, yeah, you can use it as a. Uh, wow, I'm <laughs> I apologize. I'm not doing this right. There we go. So yeah, you can just follow up with a combo. And the EX version is a lot easier to do than the uh, normal version. Uh, Chain Sparks. This is a restand, just like Ford 4. For example, I'll show you. Oh my god. Okay. What the hell? Sorry. There we go. See, it restands. And you can continue the combo afterwards. Okay. This uh, this move is um, important in killer's game plan, but of, it is very unsafe on block, uh, being at minus 26, so you will get punished. Uh, the EX version, you can move forward with it, and you can cancel it, I believe. Yeah, so you can cancel it or you can move forward it itself is a really good anti-air as well so I'll again show you it'll knock people out the air and you can continue the combo and that's pretty much the I would never use the uh, EX saw to be honest you don't really there's no armor it doesn't do any more damage and I don't see a reason to use it at all so just stick to the normal one in combos. Now the low saw is basically like Leatherface's uh, answer to Sub-Zero Slide. It's a low hitting move and it's not fast but it's s sort of quick. Uh, it does 7% and EX version does 10% uh, sorry and it, the EX version has armor. This one is basically used to for a really fast, well, it's not really fast but a faster wake up than say the that or that. So yeah, keep that in mind. That's his fastest wake up in Killer. In Butcher it's quite different. And that basically covers the universal special moves that uh, Leatherface has across all three variations. Right, let's move on to the Killer stuff. Right. Killer has Berserk stance. That's the only thing he ga gains in this variation, and uh, it's probably. I think it's one of Leatherface's best tools to have, and I shall show you why. To enter Ber Berserk stance is down back three. If you just leave him there, he'll exit it automatically. He has three op well four technically, but three offensive options out of um. Berserk Stance. Uh, you've got Berserk Stance 1, which is mm, Psycho Rush. This is the one you'd use the most. It's It has a funny hurt box, so hang on. If I get Jason to jump backward, and I activate it, oops, sorry. Wait for him to, it'll knock them out of the air. Oh my god. Sorry, my timing's off. Yeah, see. It's got a funny hurt box. And it generally will catch people poking. So if I get him to stop... Record AI. 
If I get him, Jason, to just keep doing down one, down one, down one, down one, and I uh, just berserk, the berserk stunts will just get him. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now you can ex berserk stance one to create a pop up for a combo. And that's pretty much Berserk Stunts 1. This is the the uh, the, uh, the option you've used the most by far. It's so good. I cannot uh, explain how good that uh, move is. Then you got Berserk Stunts 2, which is a free hitting overhead move, which is unsafe on block. It has some range, and it will catch jumpers as well. And it is also a restand, for example. Oops. And it restands them. Okay. Um, Berserk Stance 2, <laughs> minus 1 on hit. So it's generally, depending on what character, they can just poke at it. It's not your turn, because you're minus 1. I mean, you. Depending on what character you're versing, um, some people, like Jason, because it's minus one, his stamp one will come out in five frames, and Leatherface just has to hold it, and other characters can just armor through it, so don't expect if you hit Berserk Stunts 2, it's your turn, because it's not. Now, if you EX Berserk Stunts 2, it'll come out like this. And so if you look at the hit advantage, plus 30 on hit, that's a lot. Um, it really doesn't really have any purpose unless you uh, you do it in the corner. For example. And then it's your turn. Uh, they can armor through it, but it's uh, depending on the character, of course. Um, yeah. And now we got the, the 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 probably the coolest part about Berserk Stance is the unblockable chainsaw. Berserk Stance Four. There are a few setups which I'll get on get into a bit later um, with the unblockable, but that's pretty much it. Does 14 percent, and the EX version does 21, 22. Sorry, I can get my numbers wrong. And yeah, that's pretty much Berserk Stance. Um, we'll get into a bit of the uh, a bit of the tech that I use with a uh, killer. Now, because Leatherface's best tools are all high attacks and people can just poke out of it, his down three into Berserk Stance is a really good tool to use. Of course, you need to uh, go into practice yourself and practice it. Um, and see how it works for you, but I use it all the time to pretty good success. There is a gap which they, uh, obviously the uh, computer can armor through, but... Uh, but it really does catch a lot of people poke, like... If they block the down three and try to poke back, the Berserk Stunts will get them. And then you can uh, full combo them. Go. Uh, you can do other things like down three into the overhead so it catches them. I wouldn't recommend doing into the uh, unblockable uh, because you will get armored or poked or comboed. You'll get punished for that. Yeah. Alright. Let's go through some of the basic combos uh, that doesn't require any of Killer's moveset. So, we'll start off with a very basic combo, which uh, pretty much everyone can do, in a real match. So it goes 1, 2, 2, forward 1, 1, 2, chain sparks, jump, forward 1, 2, uh, buzz or I can't remember what it's called, psycho cutter, yeah. So a very easy combo. Um, 
practice, practice it a lot. You can have different variations of it, like then add a neutral jump. So you only get like an extra 1% damage. So it's not really worth the uh, the um, chance that you could drop the combo in a match. Uh, for punishing, uh, without a bar of meter, I do forward one chain spark, forward two, one down two, and gen P, forward one, forward one two. Into that. Let's try again. Forward one two chain spark. There we go, 35% off a punish without spending a bar of meter. Really good. And of course you got the low variation. Now see, that, that's really the only time you would use that string if you get chain sparks like that. Easy 35%. If you do that combo twice, that's 70% uh, of their life gone. And that does, I haven't even started on the meter, metered combos yet. So let's get started on that. Now, Leatherface, Killer Leatherface has insanely good damage. Uh, we're talking uh, le uh, high 40s, 50% damage, depending on if they're in the corner or not. Uh, for the basic punishing combo that you would use in Killer with spending a bar would go like this. Forward 1, 2, Berserk Stump 1. NJP, 2, 2, 1, 2, Chain Sparks. Jump forward one two forty four percent. That's bar of meter. Of course, you can you can make up your own combos. There are easy versions, which is forward one two possess one one, and then you can do NJP forward one forward one. Oops, I fucked that up. Sorry. Forward one two possess one one. Oh my god. You basically get the gist of it. If you did the, when you do the uh, two two into one two, you can drop that if you're playing in a really laggy online match. Um, if you want to spend like max damage, I can show you. And then jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I apologize, I'll do that again. Fifty two fifty one percent for two bars. It's up to you if you if it's worth it or not, but yeah. Alright. So if there are numerous setups you can do with killer. If you get the Berserk Stunt 1 off, this usually works better in the corner, but it can be possible mid screen. And with the chain sparks, forward 2 into the unblockable, it's uh, pretty hard to block that. Uh, not be cut, obviously, sorry, you can't block it. It's pretty hard to armor through, armor through it without practicing how to do it. Uh, so if people don't know the matchup, it's going to hurt them quite a bit. I wouldn't use it all the time against people, but you can do things like cancel and that brings us to the next point of killer he's can cancel everything off the Zerg stance apart from the overhead so you can cancel the unblockable by pressing 3 if you look at the buttons on the left you could do Zerg stance 1 and then press 3 again with the oops If you if you want to practice it, just practice. Now all of his cancels on block are incredibly unsafe, so you're going to get punished every time you do it. Um, there is no the only thing that is plus is um, that one into the third stars is plus, but it's it's only plus. A little bit. You won't really. It's not like you, it's your turn, but it's safe. Keep that in mind. Now, 
Berserk stance um, cancels are best used on hit. <clears throat> For example, I will put get in the corner and we'll just do a basic combo. If you do one two berserk stance cancel. Uh, let me just um, yeah, I use this quite a lot to do that. One two berserk stance cancel two two. Of, and that's plus two. Or you could do, uh, for example, when you do chain plus, and then go in for a throw. And Leatherface's throw is. And I, and I don't know why I didn't mention this uh, before, but his throw gives a lot of hit advantage. That's 30. It's like the uh, EX. Uh, EX uh, overhead. Does a lot of things. Now with the EX overhead, uh, actually, let me just do a basic um, corner combo for killer. Forward one, two, berserk stance one. And then you can continue your pressure after that. Now for the more advanced combos. And into setups, you can obviously spend an extra bar of meter. This is just a simple combo. Spend an extra bar to be at plus 30. And then you can do back one berserk stunts. Uh, back one berserk stunts cancel and then into throw or down three into berserk stunts. So there's a, a lot of mind games of, of Berserk Stance on, uh, cancels on hit. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright. Uh, meterless corner combos. Uh, these are pretty straightforward. Pretty much, they're a bit easier than um, mid screen, but we'll just go for the standard punish. Forward 1 2, forward 2, down 1, uh, whatever. Sorry, I'm not really good at notating combos um, while doing them. So I'll just stay silent and I'll show you the combo. There you go. You can add your own flavor to these combos. They're, they're not the most optimized. These are just the ones I use. So you can do things like that. This. You can be standing, maybe go for a throw, down three into berserk stance, do whatever you want. Just be careful of uh, reversal armor. Now, if you want to spend bar and still get massive amounts of damage, this combo is pretty hard to do. Uh, but I, if you, with enough practice, you can get it uh, quite well. So you do you can, any starter; it's pretty much the same. Forward one, two, the exit. jump over because oh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. oh my god sorry I'm dropping everything see there it works 47% for a bar um, you got to be careful about jumping into the corner because sometimes it it auto corrects itself and sometimes it doesn't I don't know why, it's a, it's a weird thing. Alright, alright. So yeah, that's the combo. You can do 4 3 for the combo, you can just do it by itself. You still get massive amounts of damage. Now if you want to spend an extra bar of meter in a corner combo, then the first bar will be Zerg Stance, standing 4. Sometimes it autocorrects and sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, that's pretty much killer lever face. Now, as you can probably tell, he does not have any project holes whatsoever. So if I record Jason throwing the machete. Alright. What 
do you do in this situation? You can try to jump over, but you don't have a project of your own. What do you do? Alright. You see how big it looks, Oops. Be careful if you get hit once. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm not getting it every time, but... If you block one, you can move a bit closer. If you think you're going to get hit, if you get hit once, it's harder to do the next time, and then you can like do a combo after that. You've got to be careful though. Getting in is hard. You just really need to get into this sort of distance, and then you can use your back too. And the direct stance cancels. To get in. Now this does not work with characters like Full Auto Jackie. Um, no, sorry. Wow. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing too well at doing this. There we go. So it won't really work against Full Auto Jackie, uh, Hishkaten Predator, um, Quanchi. <coughs> But against characters with single hitting projectiles like Jason, uh, Katana, Melina, um, it's quite it's an important tool to use. But you have to keep in mind that with a different character, the speed of the projectile will be different. So you've got to practice uh, doing it quite a bit to get it consistent. Even I can't get it consistently, and I've been playing Leather Face, <laughs> Face since day one. So that's pretty much killer. Oh shit, sorry. Uh, let's go through a quick run through of what Leverface is good at. Well, killer and Leverface uh, universally. <coughs> he has some of the best high attacks of the game. Standing 1, 8 frame. Standing 2, 8 frame. Forward 1 is 7 frames. So he can punish quite a, quite a few things. But remember his best tools are all high so you can get poked out. Uh, quite easily by characters like Jason. So if I can continue poking with Jason, you can't do much. See? None of my attacks will hit him, because they're all high. It is frustrating, but this is why you use the damn frame to preserve And then they can't do nothing about that unless you armor through. So. He has really good high, uh, uh, fast, single hitting normals apart from back, uh, back one and uh, forward two, but they are high, so keep that in mind. His chainsaw attacks are very long range, with talking half screen, but they are unsafe, apart from that screen. So keep in mind the range, uh, really slow, long range, but unsafe. And of course, never forget you have back to and the sweep. So he's got really good range, fast hitting normals, insane amounts of damage in killer variation, and he's got a whole set of mind games uh, with the Berserk Stance Council. If people don't know the matchup, you will get people quite a bit with the unblocked one. Keep that in mind. Uh, now his weaknesses uh, are is when Leverface, is, Leverface gets knocked down, and when he's being pressured by characters like Kung Lao, uh, any character with plus plus frames, uh, like high pressure characters, Jax, Liu Kang, etc. Uh, Leverface in Killer Variation and in Pretty Lady um, don't have really good armor at all. Um, so please keep that in mind. Uh, you will be uh, armor broken quite a lot, um, especially if you use the slower moves like that. And that. With the low, it's a bit different because it's a little faster, but it still can be armor broken. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can use his X-ray, which uh, is plus on block, but it scales quite a bit because of the amount of hits it does. So yeah, 
he has good um, all those uh, his tools I've just mentioned um, they're pretty good apart from having the lack of armor and projectile now if you want a main lever face I would suggest using killer for characters like uh, slash Jason uh, and then if you think you're gonna get spam, well not spammed, but zoned out uh, I would recommend picking up the pretty lady variation um, I will do a breakdown on uh, that variation later in a few weeks maybe um, so yeah that's killer uh, I hope I've been informative enough um, and if I haven't please let me know Oh yeah, I completely forgot. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you see lever faces, unsafe strings like for, uh, 1, 2, forward 1, 2. These unsafe strings can be made safe, quite safe, by Berserk Stunts 1. You, nobody can punish Berserk Stunts 1 apart from e Reptiles EX Slide, but I don't know if the player would risk spending a bar just for that. So you got one, two. Always cancel that into Berserk Stance one. There's really no negative consequences of doing that. Same with Ward one, two. So if I did, um, sorry, block, block mode stance. So if I did down three, Ford one, two, no consequence of that. But if I did, you can be punished for that, or and you can be punished for that. Keep in mind his negative frames and the strings, and whenever possible, always cancel into Berserk Stance 1, because it's safe. Uh, Berserk Stance 1 is a mind game of its own. Forget about the cancels, but just this move is a mind game. You can cancel it in the middle, and then do it again, so it catches people off guard. And then, of course, if you mix it up with cancels as well. Um, you can... It's a mind game sort of variation. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Leverface. Um, keep them, yeah. Everything I pointed out, I hope you it's made complete sense. Uh, make use of the plus frame, his plus frames. And um, yeah, whenever you get a hit, try to maximize the damage. Um, learn the combos, some of them can be pretty tight and confusing, uh, but yeah. I hope this guide has been helpful, but I am now going to do um, we'll do three ranked matches with um, Killer Leverface and see if I can put what I said into a real match. So it's a bit of more of a practical um, a practical viewpoint because it's it's good to talk about these things, but when you actually see it in a match, that's when you learn the most. Of, um, about it and in my opinion I think Leverface is an incredibly fun character to play um, he's probably for me yeah I said this before but he's the most fun I've had in um, MKX with a, a single character so yeah I hope you guys feel the same and if you have any questions whatsoever please let me know and I will do my best to ask to address your uh, concerns or questions, queries, any criticisms of this guide, please let me know. I know I dropped a lot of the combos and stuff, but yeah, well, it happens. No one's, nobody's perfect. Uh, so yeah, any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best to help you guys out with this character. Oh wow.
Far out. That was good. It's quite good. Oh, I wasted all my bar. I dropped that combo. I could have won that. But... Oh my god, what the fuck is with the uh... Dropping combos like crazy today. Well, that was awkward. See, that's one of the problems Leverface uh, suffers from, is, um... Being zoned out by Kano. That's one of Leverface's problems. Uh, that was embarrassing. Quite embarrassing. Let's try to win the next match. <laughs> Uh, if I didn't drop all those combos, I think I would have taken that. But against Kano, I would pick. I would use Pretty Lady over Killer, definitely because um, Pretty Lady can now zone Kano. It doesn't matter what variation. Um, but yeah, it's hopefully we can win the next match. I might do five actually. Probably make more sense. But. Leatherface. Triborg. Sector is no problem to be honest. I find his he getting past his zoning is a piece of cake. You just gotta be careful. That was a bit better than the previous match. <coughs> so I'll, I'll do four rank matches in between three and five. Makes sense. Um, Not many people play Leverface, so it's hard to suggest them. Hard to suggest people to watch in the tournament, but... Oh, here we go. 
Leatherface. Happened with the sound there. I want to make him spend the bar. I was gonna get absolutely destroyed by the 50 50 Sonya Blade can do, but it wasn't the case. Alright, one more, and I will conclude this guide. See what he does first. guaranteed at all. Okay, so I've got him in the corner, which is good. I just wanted to make him spend the bar.
And there we go. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this guide. Um, again, please let me know if it has or hasn't been helpful. I would really appreciate your uh, criticism, uh, whether it be positive or negative. Um, thank you for watching, and I will be back again soon.